what is up guys another warm day here in southeast missouri northeast arkansas good old humid heat uh, today's day 15 of binge and barbells uh, everything's been going great the food's been going down good haven't had any bad cravings and what little bit i have i've been able to knock them out uh, so day 15 uh, you'll see we're a few pounds down so it's it's going good i started a new diet called the velocity diet this is the first time I've been on it. I've actually didn't know what it was until I stumbled across it recently. Uh, but basically, you're drinking about four shakes a day and you're having one solid meal a day. It uh, kind of re reiterates uh, healthy eating habits, you know, kind of helps you knock out those cravings. Uh, it is a lot of shakes, so it can be pretty expensive, you know, going through all that protein powder. Uh, but any information on diet, I'll link down below and uh, you'll see a list here of uh how the day goes but anyway it's going good the pounds are coming off uh energy hasn't been too bad uh, so it's been going great anyway let's check in for weigh-ins Shake number two today, all the essentials. Optimum Hydro Way. As you can see, I don't use the BioTest brand uh, as, as preference. I do have the BioTest fish oil. Gonna get a flame out, scoop and a half Hydro Way, and my sweet new shaker cup. And no, I'm not a Game of Thrones geek. Amazon just had a sweet deal on some shaker cups that i'll link below but uh yeah shake number two about noon have a little lunch break and get back after it here we are favorite time of the day one solid meal time so it's time to actually eat some actual food put the shakes down for a minute and uh have a little bit more palatable food uh my choice is uh steak and potato uh for my solid meal uh, there's no really guidelines that just kind of gives you a calorie range uh, for what your solid meal should be so I'll show you guys it's super quick I just take the potato wash it off get a paper towel wet it down then toss it in the microwave for six minutes I'll let that start and then for my steaks instead of cooking every night I do I'll, I'll meal prep early and uh, let's pick a good one anyway I will uh, cook my steaks and then vacuum seal them so that way they're decently fresh when I get ready to go super easy super quick six minutes and you're eating steak and potatoes so not a bad deal we'll let this cook and Boom, six, six minutes later, we got a meal. Uh, like I said, super simple. Just pop it in, uh, the microwave six minutes. About two minutes left, I throw my uh, steak in and heat it up, and uh, we're, we're good to go. Uh, like I said, there was no really guidelines for the, the uh, one solid meal and the velocity diet that I've seen anyway. Uh, so. I like steak and potatoes, so I put it in there. And uh, essentially, I like red meat better than chicken uh, because it's so much more nutritious. Uh, you get B vitamins, you get iron, you get creatine, you get good fats. Uh, it gives you gives you more bang for a buck. And potatoes, I hear so many people tell you, say potatoes. You know, I don't eat potatoes. It makes makes me fat. Potatoes make you fat. Blah blah blah. And it's not that the potato makes you fat, it, it, excess calories over time is what's going to make you fat. Um, potatoes pack almost a thousand milligrams of potassium in them, just a small medium potato. So that's equivalent to eating like two and a half bananas. So you've already got your potassium in and uh, you cut the calories almost in half just by doing the potatoes. So I mean, it's a smart choice in my opinion. Uh, I know the keto lovers don't like to hear that. And just like any diet, it's not the 
that keto works better than velocity that works better than carnivore than paleo uh, it's kind of what you can stick to um, carbs aren't the enemy it, for the most part I guess if you're like me and, and can't contain yourself with carbs and carbs are the enemy but um, don't get in that mindset of uh, oh I can only lose weight on keto I, I have to get back on keto to to lose weight and you know that's not the case uh, just track it and, and compare your calories to where you lost weight at keto and, and maybe try throwing a potato in or something to get, get more nutritious. Um, I will say with keto, you might see a gradual uh, decrease pretty early when you first start. And a lot of that is just water weight. You think about it, you know, fat is mostly an oil. We'll mix water with oil. It doesn't mix. So what does your body do? It excretes it. So, uh, and the carb, it's starchy, you know, it's absorbs water so you hold a little bit more water weight so you hear people all the time oh, I started keto two weeks ago and I lost 10 pounds already well honestly most of that's water but anyway it's compliance is what you can stay to is where you'll see results so that's uh, where it matters anyway I'm gonna have some Redmond's real salt uh, get your sodium in uh, helps you recover helps you hold a little bit more water uh, which is not bad if you're you're training if you're out in the heat um, we need it just going to church it up a little pepper a1 and uh, I'll shut up and I'll see you guys at the gym Here I am here at Barbell Syndicate tonight. Uh, got some deadlifts tonight. That's what's on the programming menu for tonight. Uh, you'll see me warm up a few sets here. The uh, goal today is uh, we're going five by five, so five sets of five. Our weight percentage is going to be 65% of my max. Uh, my current one rep max is uh, 475. So today the weight is 310 is what we put on the bar. Um, uh, even though we're dieting, I'm still sticking to the powerlifting program for a meet in December. Uh, most of the time people won't diet for as much as a weight loss of this, you know, in powerlifting, but I really want to get my weight down to get into the 220 class. Um, and that's kind of my goal weight where I want to be. So I'm going to continue to powerlift and lose weight and, uh, just hope for the best, but. <clears throat> going to my third set of uh, warm-ups here, tossing the belt on, uh, kind of get the central nervous system going, and uh, weight's going to get a little heavier before we go to our first set. Hit uh, my daggum pants. Keep grabbing me, so you'll see me grab my pants several times. It's about 85 degrees here in the gym. Uh, we don't have no AC pumping or nothing like that, uh, so it's Man, it's just sticking to me like crazy, so it's kind of bothering me. I guess I have to remember that and wear shorts next time or something. Anyway, we're going to get ready for our first set of uh, 310. Uh, it goes up fairly easy. Uh, my strength, I can tell, is not is where it should be, you know, right now with uh, as little calories I'm eating every day. So I'm only eating 13, 1,500 calories, so. It, that, that does affect me. I also work 12 hours a day in the sun and the heat. And like I said, it's the heat's banging in here. So, uh, I mean, it's tough. It's 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 going to be some grinders. The first set went easy. This will be my third set. And for me, when I'm doing five by five, my third set is always the hardest for me. Uh, I kind of got to get myself motivated. You know, the first two sets, I'm fresh. I'm ready to go. By the time I get to set three, you know, the kind of the mentality, you know, you start questioning yourself, you know, kind of grind it out. And once I get through the third set, four and five seems to come easy for me too. And, uh, I'm not using, uh, knee sleeves, knee wraps, nothing like that. So I'm kind of hoping, uh, if I can grind it without that stuff, by the time the competition comes, <clears throat> when I start adding more equipment, you know, maybe that'll help with the lifts as well.
This is set number five. I'm throwing on some uh, some uh, straps. The and this deadlift bar is pretty sharp, so if I get a lot of reps going in, it start tear my hands up pretty good. So this is my I'm AMRAP set. This is my last set. I'm not doing five. I'm doing AMRAP, which is as many reps as possible. Uh, you'll see me sniff some smelling salts there if y'all see that. I'm not snorting cocaine. It's smelling salts. It kind of gets the central nervous system woke up. Uh, kind of opens up your vessels, let you let the blood flow, let you breathe, and uh, kind of just keeps you from passing out. So we're going to bang out an AMRAP here. I uh, believe I get 10 of them up. Uh, muscularly, I could probably power it up a few more, but, man, I'm just out of breath at this point. It, it kind of takes the wind out of me just doing so many uh, reps here in a row. Anyway, guys, that uh, concludes the video for part two of Benjamin Barbells. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.